I have to tell you about the best stuff. Mm -hmm. And okay, so we had uh, we had the uh, beta autopilot uh, yeah. system, and um, <clears throat> and we did have problems, mm -hmm. but the problems weren't with your system; they were with the roads. People are painting; either they don't paint uh, in certain areas, or they paint right in the center. So, how are we going to get legislation to make it so that? Things are consistent between states. In the old days, it probably didn't make much difference, but now we're moving into self-driving, yeah. and uh, well, uh, I mean, frankly, <clears throat> frankly, I think for self-driving, um, even if the road is painted completely, completely wrong, um, and uh, a UFO lands in the middle of the road, the, the car still cannot crash and still needs to do the right thing. So, the like, what really matters, like the prime directive for the autopilot system, is don't crash. Um, like that, that really uh, <laughs> overrides everything. Um, so n no matter what the lines say or how the road is done, the, the, the thing that needs to happen is minimizing the probability of impact while getting you to your destination conveniently and comfortably. Yeah. Um, but, but the prime directive, absolute priority is uh, minimize probability of, of injury to yourself or to uh, anyone on the road, on the pedestrians or anything like that. So, and, and it's really, it, it can't be, uh, dependent on the road markings being correct or anything like that. It's just got to be, no matter what, it's not going to crash. Well, um, I, I still think that, uh, that, <laughs> that the road commission's in one I better shape up because, like I said, we, uh, Corey and I had an issue, and um, luckily, luckily I got out of it. Um, but what happened was they painted all kinds of lines all over the place. There was an old off-ramp and a new off-ramp, and a bunch of cones, and some flashing red lights. It was totally, I have no idea, if I had to take that thing and knew I had to take it, I would be totally confused as to what to do where. But when the car came into it, the, the lines are telling it, okay, go here. And that scared the living daylights out of me. If we would have crashed, if it would have been somebody I used to race, and, and I kind of like can get out of stuff, and, and even though I'm old, I'm uh, kind of agile, and, but if we would have crashed, the press would have instantly said it was all your fault. And in essence, the fault lies in this massive mess that, that, that we were trying to keep up with. And then, quite frankly, I stopped driving in the, in the right-hand lane. That was it. I mean, the car wants you to keep going back there because it wants you to oh. follow the rules. But no, you can change that. It's a setting. <clears throat> oh, really? Yeah. You'll have to show us that because uh, I don't like uh, I don't like that one. But but it's <laughs> yeah, it's it's following the it's, it's following the rules and that's great. But you have to have the roads at the same sure. thing. So I want to make sure that we've got this on tape or on uh, whatever, not tape, but uh, but video because I'm guaranteeing you somebody is going to screw up somewhere and 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 people have sure. to know it's the road that can bugger the things up as well as uh, as whether your your uh, your autopilot thing i mean it would certainly be helpful to have roads with uh, accurate markings and everything uh but like i said the really for self-driving <coughs> it's got to be even if somebody tries to trick the car they do not succeed in tricking yeah, the car right because um, you know people will do weird things so yeah. it's got to be maintain safety no matter what and don't let yourself get tricked that's yeah so well yeah. Maybe that's the best segue ever, because what I want to do is I wanted to talk about, um, I, I actually, uh, John, what's John's last name? John, not the letter. The no, no, the guy that let us, gave us a ride. The head of the silicone. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, silicone. I'll just say John. <laughs> L.A. Silicon Valley. Yeah, L.A. LA Silicon Valley, whatever. I th I th <laughs> anyways, uh, so anyways, he, um, um, he gave us a ride, yeah. okay? And, uh, and we taped it. And you can hear me going, you know, my uh, voice went up about three octaves. I was so excited. Um, Corey yeah. said he's got a sore ear from me giggling or whatever. I have never, I've sat in, in F-18s. I didn't fly them, but I was sat in them and I saw how everything was supposed to work on the ground. Yeah. I, I flew, or through a simulator, I flew a C-17. I know what you can do and what you can't do, what autopilot will gonna, and I never seen anything, never ever seen anything quite like what you've got in the new self-driving thing. This, this is just absolutely brilliant. This should get into the marketplace as fast as possible. It's, it's, it's accurate. It's much more accurate than what we have in the, in the Model 3. It's accurate. It's, it's kind of aggressive because 
if there's a hole, it'll yeah. it'll find that hole. It makes left-hand turns, which I've heard from everybody can't uh -huh. be done. I mean, these are the things yeah. that this is the this will save more lives than airbags, seat belts, and anything else that anybody's ever ever gotten. Because I think that's this, correct. It will. Yeah, yeah. I, I I really I, I was so impressed. I, I I couldn't believe it. And I I have some videotape, and I just asked you for using it. I I want to put that out. I want to sure. I want the yeah. rest of the world to know what. The new standard is because yeah. in the auto world, <clears throat> some people are going to win, some people are going to lose, and some are just going to fade away. Uh, the more they fade away, the worse it's going to be for the for the general population. But I'm telling you, that that system, I don't know who you developed or how it developed, but that is yeah, absolutely it was developed stunning. internally. Like we developed the hardware yeah. and the software. Um, uh, we've just got we've got a very talented team that we built from scratch uh, at Tesla for autopilot software and autopilot hardware. Um, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, it just we've got really a lot of talent. Anyways, here. I can't thank you enough. Sure. I I'd really like to shake your hand. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Hey, well, thank you for for giving us the time. And uh, I I can't say enough about a lot of stuff, but I really can't say the I the most exciting thing that's happened to me in a long time. Was driving that uh, the 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 self driving uh, the self driving. No, uh, I'm telling you, it's just sure. It's it blows your mind. Are you gonna are you gonna let anybody else have that? <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, we were gonna roll out the um, full self driving to the whole fleet and make make it available to the whole fleet. We're just being you know, very careful about the testing, um, uh, and um, I think there's actually sort of a dangerous uh, middle ground that we have to be careful of where the the system is. Is good like 99.9% .9 of the time, and and then that could lead people to be uh, complacent, and and then, yeah. uh, but then that one time where it's, it's got issues that that you know that we don't want people to basically it it can be so good that you you get comfortable but not not necessarily good enough to handle all of the corner cases, um, so we we want to just make sure that in that transition to full self driving it's really. Um, we're taking as much care as possible. Yeah. Well, I'm. Uh, I'm. I was happy with what we had on the uh, on the uh, autopilot. Um, it's the first time I've ever gotten a chance to see what the scenery looks like. I always just do lines. Yeah. Now I can have a look around and feel comfortable or confident that yep. my hands are on the wheel, and if something goes wrong, I can correct. But I can yep. also enjoy what's going on. Yeah. I mean, the I got you know so it's publicly, but basically the. A, a car that does not have self-driving in the future will be about as popular as a horse. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly is like horses right. are, they're still horses. People have horses and they're, yeah. they're but they're, they're, it's, a horse is not what you use for day-to-day -day transport. No. Yeah. But even, even a horse <laughs> will get you home sometimes. If uh, yeah. in the olden days they'd get drunk, sure. fall asleep in the buckboard and a horse would take them home. Self-driving yeah. as far sure. as I'm concerned. We're just getting back to horses. Well, I think actually that, that's, that's one of the things we're, we're, we're going to program into the yeah. car. <laughs> that if, if, yeah. if you if you if you fall asleep in the car, it'll just take you home. Yeah. Like it is most likely that's where you want to go. Yes. And um, that's, that's a great idea. Yeah. Um, and, and then we, yeah, we're even going to have it like so. Um, if it, if it detects that you're having issues, it'll take you to the hospital. Like if you say like you know just like yeah, having them, a heart attack or something. Yeah, like something that. Like, yeah. It'll just take you straight yeah. to the emergency room. Well, I, I think I mentioned this already. I think that the self-driving feature is going to save more lives than seat belts, airbags, and every yeah. other thing that we've done to cars combined, because that's that's the way to go. Uh, absolutely. I mean, there's a, worldwide, there's about a million people a year uh, dying in, in car accidents, um, and uh, that's a hell of a lot. And yeah, so uh, there's like 10 million people that get seriously injured. So it's like you know, we got to hustle on this. Yeah, and and why not? We got the technology to do it. So. Yep.